This painting of Bowser watches you wherever you go. And believe it or not, there's no moving parts. Whoa! I've seen people make paintings like these before using LCD displays or moving parts for the eyes, but that seemed a bit tricky. So I found an easier way to make one using an optical illusion. Wanna see how to make one? Then let's get science. To make this at home, you will need a Bowser mask and an outline of Bowser. I've added a link for both of these in the description. A piece of plywood that's 80 centimeters wide and 80 centimeters tall, a jigsaw, some paint, and silicon. Start by drawing a picture of Bowser on the plywood. This is pretty hard to do because you need to match the size of the body to the size of the mask. To make it easier, click on the link in the description and print this outline of Bowser. Make sure you select actual size when printing. Tape these pages together along the dotted lines and tape the full picture to the plywood. Next, use a pen to trace over the lines. Apply pressure with the pen so that it marks the wood under the paper and then recycle this paper. Place the mask on the outline of Bowser and trace around the edges to mark its exact shape and size. We now have to cut this part out. Luckily, I've been practicing for this moment for my whole life. Yes! All right. Get an adult to do this for you unless you're a professional like me. The next step is the fun part, painting the picture. You will need six colors, red, green, yellow, cream, black, and white. I've added a link for this color palette in the description. This is where Bowser really starts to come to life. Start by painting his arms, legs, and tail yellow, his body and spikes cream, and his shell green and red. Then paint these parts dark gray like this. To give it a 3D effect, buy some darker shades of each color and paint the edges of the arms, legs, tail, body, and spikes. I've added a link in the description for a color palette of the darker colors. Buy some brick red paint and paint the background of the picture. Like the other colors, I'm going to give this two coats of paint. Then use a slightly darker red to add the outline of the bricks and put this to one side to dry. While that's drying, we're going to paint the inside of the mask. Start by lightly sanding the mask before applying the paint. We'll use cream for around his mouth and horns, green for his face, and red for his hair and mouth. We'll also use the darker shades of these colors to add shadows to these parts of his face. Even though I'm showing this all quickly, I waited for each layer to dry before I started painting the next one. I then painted his eyes using the brick color, the color for the edges of the brick, and a spot of white. You can already see the illusion working as you tilt the mask from side to side. How cool is that? Now that I've painted the mask, it's time to add it to the body. Place the painted side of the plywood face down onto a piece of baking paper and add the mask to this hole. Use some silicon to attach the mask to the wood. Glue some 14 centimeter square blocks of wood to the corners of the picture and let this dry overnight. Once dry, flip the whole thing over and screw the plywood to these blocks of wood. There's a few gaps in the picture here, here, and here that I'll need to paint over, but it's looking really good. All it needs now is a really nice picture frame, and I know just where to get one. After getting some inspiration from the art gallery, I went to Bunnings to buy this framing wood, added it to the picture, went over the outline of Bowser with a permanent marker, and hung it up right where the mirror used to be. So how does it work? This illusion works when you stand a few meters away from it. When you're too close, you can tell the face goes into the picture and that something doesn't look right. But as you move away from the picture, the face switches from looking like it's pointing in to looking like it's pointing out. That's because your brain thinks that all faces should be pointing out. What happens when you move from side to side is best explained using these two flags, one for the nose and one for the eyes. Because the face is pointing into the frame, the nose is going to be behind the eyes. When you move to the right, the nose appears on the right-hand side of the eyes. 
That's the same thing that happens when a face looks to the right. So Bowser's face appears to turn towards the right. When you move to the left, the nose appears on the left hand side of the eyes. That's the same thing that happens when a face looks to the left. So Bowser's face appears to turn towards the left. But if you don't know about this illusion, it can be pretty creepy. I think we'll keep it up for the next few visitors to see. Hey bro, what are you doing right now? 